Okay. Now, uh, I think everyone has some kind of an idea about what is your KPSC exam, what is required for your exam, what is your preparation or strategy or whatever it is. Yes? Okay. So, since today is the first class of science and technology, and this is which paper? GS3. That is nothing but your paper 4. For 250 marks. Now, the uh, thing about your KPSC is that in your paper 4, that is, or your GS3, apart from science and technology, obviously you also have disaster management and you also have few topics related to your environment and ecology as well. I mean, when if you go back to your school, all of those things used to be uh, clubbed under science and technology itself. So KPSC is still following your uh, CBSE-based uh, school syllabus itself. However, you used to prepare social science or science and technology, whatever, everything is club. And one thing about uh, KPSC is that at times they also ask fundamental questions. Okay, when you compare, I'm comparing it to UPSC. So if you compare it to UPSC, KPSC asks fundamental questions. For example, I'm saying one of in the previous year question papers. So KPSC start off, uh, uh, the question started off with what are vaccines? What are vaccines? Okay. That is never going to happen in UPSC. UPSC is never going to ask you what are vaccines. If at all, it could be with respect to applications or any kind of a new development in the field of vaccines with respect to whatever is going on in COVID. But you don't have to write what are vaccines. UPSC will assume that you already know what are what are vaccines, what is vaccine, what is the functioning of vaccines, what are the different types of you already know that. Any question will be based on application of those vaccines. Okay, but here in KPSC, they will ask you what are vaccines. There have also been cases where they have asked what are microorganisms. Now, I don't think I have to explain what are uh, microorganisms to you. That level, I'm 100% sure everybody uh, should be capable of doing and understanding. Correct? So, I ha has everyone gone through the question paper? At least, just to understand the pattern. I'm not saying that you've gone through the entire syllabus or you've gone through the entire question paper, uh, each question per se, but have you gone through it? Do you have some kind of an idea? Yes? Everyone? Comfortable? No? Not comfortable with KPSC syllabus? Everyone's comfortable? Okay. So, uh, what we will be doing today is we will start off with one particular subject or topic within science and technology. That is, we are going to start with uh, space technology. So, okay. now, what I want you to understand with respect to science and technology is that See, science and technology is simple. Now, when you read the question paper, you might actually feel that these questions are difficult. You might actually feel that maybe I won't be able to answer. I won't be able to complete the paper. I don't know these things. Okay, trust me, that will happen for the first time when you open the question paper. When you read all the questions, you will feel that I don't know all these things. I will not be able to answer all these things. How is it possible for a person to know everything? Okay, that is the case. But as you start your preparation and as you get into that exam model, even then, even on the last day just before the exam, if you're writing, you'll still feel that you don't know anything or you've not learned everything. You will not be able to write a good answer. You will not be able to properly do it. That will happen. It will happen to you also. It will happen to everyone also. But if you have prepared, trust me, when you go and sit in that exam hall, okay, no matter what the question, you will be able to recall something and you will be able to write an answer which is relevant. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. But I'm saying if you have dedicated at least some amount of time saying that I will prepare and I will write a good answer, Trust me, it is possible. Trust me, you can do it. Okay, see here, the only thing is that it's not like your school exam where you have to score uh, 90 out of 100 or 100 out of 100. What is important? You have to score more than the person sitting next to you. It is not possible to do everything. It is not possible to score 100 out of 100. The only thing is that you have to be smart. Okay, if you start reading nano 1950s in the NLA scientific innovation, the invention, so you have to be smart and understand what is required, what is not necessary. Rather than reading, 
for or your preparation for KPSC rather than understanding what is required, it is more important to know what is not required because everyone, see, information, Google, every, everybody has access to Google. Everything is there in Google. So what tends to happen, you get into that rabbit hole. Okay, my one big suggestion, especially when it comes to science and technology is that never open Wikipedia. Never open Wikipedia. For any topic, for example, you open space technology and you Google space technology, obviously there will be a Wikipedia link. Okay, you open Wikipedia, what will happen? A first line alone on the uh, new topic, there will be a keyword which you don't understand. You open that, okay, obviously you, you are tempted to open that, you are tempted to understand that. You open that, other already know the idea. You open those two things, you will have 10 more new topics to learn. So what will happen? You wanted an answer for one particular question. That was what is space technology. And, huh? But by the time you're done reading this, you'd have spent two and a half hours. You'd have spent two and a half hours for a topic which you'd have, which, for which you should have taken only about 10 minutes max to max. You will end up taking two hours or something. Uh, after that, what will happen? You will feel that, okay, I think I need a YouTube explanation. And, huh? Okay, then you'll go to YouTube. Then you'll search for uh, YouTube explanations. You'll start going through the videos. Then what will happen? Then you'll see a thumbnail of uh, Katrina Kaif for dancing for Kala Chashma. Then you'll feel that I'll watch Kala Chashma also. Correct. It happens to me. It happens to me. 100% it happens to you also. Then what will happen? When Katrina Kaif and movie not enough, Papa uh, recently marriage again. That is, that is what is going to happen. So what I'm trying to tell you is that rather than knowing what to read, it is more important for you to understand what not to read. What not to read. You, it is not possible to study everything. See, I'm just taking some extra time since this is the first class so that you know everyone gets the uh, hang of it. So what we'll be doing is that uh, at the end of every class, I will make you write an answer as well. Okay, we will write, we, I'll give you a question, a basic simple question. Okay, I don't expect you to know the answer, but I expect you to write the answer. Okay, because rather than knowing the answer, you must be prepared to even write answers for questions which you don't know. That is the whole strategy here. I cannot teach entire science and technology for KPSC. Because even though there is a syllabus, if I start teaching each and everything, one versus science and technology will open it is not possible. So what will I do? We will cover basic things, important things, which will give you the foundation. My entire objective or idea is to give you a foundation. I want you to build on that foundation. And that will happen only through practice. Okay, so that is why we, what I want you to do is, at the end of every class, something relevant to what we have learned, I want you to write an answer, a page or two pages, whatever it is, then we will discuss the answer. I'm not saying that I will give you the key answer, synopsis or the best answer. The whole objective is so that you get into that mood or practice or uh, you develop that confidence to write that answer in that moment. You will not Google, you will not do anything. I want you to think, I want you to write. Is it clear? Okay, see, most of the things uh, what we teach here with respect to science and technology also, most of the questions, most of the questions which are asked are more or less similar. So I want you to have the confidence and I want you to go out with the confidence saying that yes, I will be able to do it. That is all matters. Okay, it is not that those who have cleared are actually the most intelligent people here. Absolutely not. They've only worked hard and they are smart. UPSC or KPSC does not require the most intelligent people. If the most intelligent people get into government service, they'll go mad. They want people who are smart, who are able to navigate through this chaos. Okay, so I want you to be smart. I, I don't want you to be very intelligent. Be smart, work hard. That is what is actually required. Okay. Now, again, uh, those of you are attending online, uh, I, I actually feel that if you are in Bangalore, please do come to class, sit in the class. See, if you think that you are going to watch it online, obviously, or recording, either, I will watch it some other time. It happens, but what will happen is that by the end of the day, you'll have some function or that or this, and you're going to miss the class, and then over a period of time, it is going to pile up, and you're not going to finish the classes. 
okay so if you are in bangalore if you are nearby if it is possible i really suggest please do come to class please do sit in the class please do devote some amount of time because your objective is to clear this exam this exam is a competitive exam notification baroto barala antanu salpa doubt irutte but so that bandre 100% you have to clear unlike upsc you don't have it every year so that bandre adrushta bandre you have to clear anta next time martini anta helkondu odre agala so the, I, the one thing about what i like about namak apsc is that uh, they have started classes ma- uh, mains classes for kpsc and this is actually beneficial because many people what they do is that they will say that i will wait till the notification comes out only after the notification for kpsc your ks exam comes out i will start my preparation anta but the thing is that after the notification comes out you don't have enough time and you'll have to cram through everything in that short period of time but here you are actually at leisure you have time to strategize you have time to stretch you have time to understand what are your strengths what are your weaknesses you can understand that and you can build on that you actually have time and trust me again i'm uh, most of the cases people do not have enough time to prepare and that is why they don't end up clearing the exams okay so one good thing that i see about uh, you guys is that you have enough time but again don't get lazy you have enough time and the people tend to go very slow don't do that also again i'm saying i'm stressing i want you to be smart only read what is necessary they will give you handouts or uh, books with respect to science and technology also read that okay even if you're not able to read that read your magazines thoroughly that is what is required especially your magazines read it i'm again i'm telling you it is not possible to do everything but your preparation should be in such a manner that no matter what happens no matter what question is asked you should be able to answer the question that is your idea about your competitive exams such as upsc and kps is this clear okay so shall we start with uh, space technology